Chapter 8 Here is a list of the family leaders and the genealogies of those who came with me from Babylon during the reign of King Artaxerxes. From the family of Phinehas, Gershom. From the family of Ithamar, Daniel. From the family of David, Hattush, son of Shechaniah. From the family of Parush, Zechariah, and one hundred fifty other men. From the family of Pahath Moab, Eliehonai, son of Zerahiah, and two hundred other men. From the family of Zetu, Shechaniah, son of Jehaziel, and three hundred other men. From the family of Adin, Ebed, son of Jonathan, and fifty other men. From the family of Elam, Jeshiah, son of Athaliah, and seventy other men. From the family of Shephatiah, Zebediah, son of Michael, and eighty other men. From the family of Joab, Obadiah, son of Jehiel, and two hundred eighteen other men. From the family of Benai, Shelomith, son of Josephiah, and one hundred sixty other men. From the family of Bibai, Zechariah, son of Bibai, and twenty-eight other men. From the family of Azgad, Johanan, son of Hakatan, and one hundred ten other men. From the family of Adonikam, who came later, Eliphalet, Jeuel, Shemaiah, and sixty other men. From the family of Bigvai, Uthai, Zekur, and seventy other men. I assembled the exiles at the Ehava Canal, and we camped there for three days while I went over the lists of the people and the priests who had arrived. I found that not one Levite had volunteered to come along, so I sent for Eliezer, Ariel, Shemaiah, Elnathan, Jerib, Elnathan, Nathan, Zechariah, and Meshulam, who were leaders of the people. I also sent for Joerib and Elnathan, who were very wise men. I sent them to Edo, the leader of the Levites at Kasaphia, to ask him and his relatives and the temple servants to send us ministers for the temple of God at Jerusalem. Since the gracious hand of our God was on us, they sent us a man named Sherebiah, along with eighteen of his sons and brothers. He was a very astute man and a descendant of Malai, who was a descendant of Levi, son of Israel. They also sent Hashabiah, together with Jeshiah, from the descendants of Merari, and twenty of his sons and brothers, and two hundred twenty temple servants. The temple servants were assistants to the Levites, a group of temple workers first instituted by King David. They were all listed by name. And there, by the Ahava Canal, I gave orders for all of us to fast and humble ourselves before our God. We prayed that He would give us a safe journey and protect us, our children, and our goods as we traveled. For I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to accompany us and protect us from enemies along the way. After all, we had told the king, Our God protects all those who worship Him, but His fierce anger rages against those who abandon Him. So we fasted and earnestly prayed that our God would take care of us, and He heard our prayer. I appointed twelve leaders of the priests, Sherebiah, Hashabiah, and ten other priests, to be in charge of transporting the silver, the gold, the gold bowls, and the other items that the king, his council, his leaders, and the people of Israel had presented for the temple of God. I weighed the treasure as I gave it to them, and found the totals to be as follows. Twenty-four tons of silver, seven thousand five hundred pounds of silver utensils, 7,500 pounds of gold, 20 gold bowls, equal in value to 1,000 gold coins, two fine articles of polished bronze, as precious as gold. And I said to these priests, You and these treasures have been set apart as holy to the Lord. This silver and gold is a free will offering to the Lord, the God of our ancestors. Guard these treasures well until you present them, without an ounce lost, to the leading priests, the Levites, and the leaders of Israel at the storerooms of the Lord's temple in Jerusalem. So the priests and the Levites accepted the task of transporting these treasures to the temple of our God in Jerusalem. We broke camp at the Ahava Canal on April 19th and started off to Jerusalem. And the gracious hand of our God protected us and saved us from enemies and bandits along the way. So at last we arrived safely in Jerusalem, where we rested for three days. 
On the fourth day after our arrival, the silver, gold, and other valuables were weighed at the temple of our God and entrusted to Meremoth, son of Uriah the priest, and to Eleazar, son of Phinehas, along with Josabad, son of Jeshua, and Noadiah, son of Binuai, both of whom were Levites. Everything was accounted for by number and weight, and the total weight was officially recorded. Then the exiles who had returned from captivity sacrificed burnt offerings to the God of Israel. They presented twelve oxen for the people of Israel, as well as ninety-six rams and seventy-seven lambs. They also offered twelve goats as a sin offering. All this was given as a burnt offering to the Lord. The king's decrees were delivered to his lieutenants and the governors of the province west of the Euphrates River, who then cooperated by supporting the people and the temple of God.' 